Hi, my name is Terry Hill. I'm the engineering project manager for the Constellation Spacesuit System. It's the next generation spacesuit that NASA will be using to fly to the moon and hopefully Mars soon. Uh, what I'd like to do today is just kind of tell you a little bit about what our team is doing and what uh, we've been acting on and what our plans are going to be for the future of spacesuits for NASA. Uh, in this project, what we did is we took a look at what spacesuits have been for us in the past for NASA. We took a look at the functionality and the design of the Apollo era spacesuits that serve us very well. Uh, we went to the moon several times. We learned what worked well on them and what didn't work well. And also trying to apply that to the design challenge we have ahead of us, which is to design a single suit system that can meet all of the requirements needed in one single suit. Now, historically, we've used different spacesuits to do different things. For example, we used uh, the orange launch and abort spacesuit to protect the astronauts during the launch and landing in the space shuttle. EMU space shuttle uh, suit, like you see on TV, the white space suit that do spacewalks around the space shuttle and space station, it looks similar to the Apollo uh, suit. And that suit is designed specifically to do microgravity EVAs in the vacuum space in mic microgravity or zero G uh, to build and construct and do things in space, which is different than this Apollo suit. The, the Apollo suit was designed specifically to do lunar EVAs in 1 6 gravity. Uh, to explore the surface of the moon. So it is a much more mobile, much more uh, flexible, and lighter suit than the shuttle and space station EMU suit. Uh, and also, of course, this one was designed mostly to protect the crew during rapid depressurization events or in cabin fire. So it's not really designed to do uh, EVAs in space or even on the moon. So each suit historically has had its own function. Now the challenge ahead of us is to combine all the functionalities of all the different spacesuits and put it in a single suit system. Well, how do we do that? Well, we're not sure. <laughs> we're still working on that. Uh, what our thoughts are that we would develop a single suit system as the keyword, which certain parts of the suit can be taken off and new parts can be added to the suit to meet the environments or the functionality required for the spacesuit at that time by the astronauts. So, for example, some of the parts may be common across the different uh, spacesuits, like, for example, a helmet, or possibly gloves, or boots, or that type of stuff, or mobility joints, for example. But then the suit would be designed such that parts of the suit could be disconnected, and more appropriate uh, parts that will have the functionality required can be added to the suit. Um, so what we've done is, again, we've looked at the Apollo suit, we've looked at the, the EMU suit that's currently used on stations and the space shuttle. We have taken a look at the performance characteristics of the David Clark uh, launch and abort suit, or the ACES suit, currently used by shuttle. Try to learn what we kept from that. This is a prototype that we've been working with for the last 10 years, uh, developed by ILC. It's a rear entry uh, ICE suit. Uh, we've used this several times to take it out to the desert, to some of our desert analog testing, or desert rats as we call it. Uh, try to learn a lot about how this type of suit architecture and the different individual unique types of components that have been built into this suit that we've never actually used before. Uh, for example, this suit, you enter it from the rear, uh, has a hatch here on the back. The parts of the suit are actually made out of hard plastic or plexiglass, I mean uh, fiberglass as it is, and uh, we actually have uh, off-terrain type of boots that we use here on Earth that have been modified to use for the pressure driver here. So we're trying to learn what we could use from this type of advanced development to aid us in this single suit system which will function for us for launch, entry, board, microgravity EVA, lunar gravity EVA, and hopefully one day Martian gravity uh, EVA as well. Now what we've done so far today has built a, a prototype here. We call this the EMASIS. It's a modified version of the EMASIS. We've changed certain components to it. We've incorporated the use of phase six gloves which are used on the space station and uh, shuttle uh, EMU. We have incorporated uh, mobility joints, so that our bearings, as we call them, so we gain the mobility required at pressurization. Um, the ACES did not have that. We've also uh, pulled in some new restraint systems. We've added in the use of Apollo-style helmet connectors and uh, some mobility aids and restraints here on the lower portion of the, the suit. 
We have uh, just started the development of the first prototype of the newly designed spacesuit. This right here is just to test out the functionality of it, but the next prototype, which should be coming in about six to eight months, uh, will have all of the requirements of the next generation spacesuit incorporated in this first prototype. So we're very much looking forward to that.